What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to Wrestling Empire on the Nintendo Switch. No longer the middleweight champion, but still employed by Weekend Warriors. And Connor wants another fight with me. I beat him last time, but I'm no longer the champion. But I see a champion perhaps in the ring there, or somebody in the ring with a belt as the referee, so let's see how things go here today on the program. Welcome to Monday. It's a new week. Yes, it is. Who is in the ring with the belt there? I'm curious. What's cracking? Is it Sable? Is Brock waiting in the wings? I don't know. He has the table. I am the table. So, new week, new moves, new tweaked look here. Unfortunately, the game wouldn't let me change the beard. I don't want the goatee, but we're stuck with it for the time being because gimmicks, I don't know, man. It is what it is. We are where we are, and then let's get cracking here on a Monday on Wrestling Empire. So, something to say there, referee? Oh, the reigning lightweight champion in Weekend Warriors. And I guess the winner here is going to fight you in a match. You need a contender. So, I, is that Sable? Is that Ronda Rousey? Is that, I don't know. Random blonde lady. Here we go. So, I'm gonna beat Connor again and get a belt. Any belt. But ideally, I'd want the Lesnar belt. So, the Hurt Lock to start it off here against that boy. And just, yep, right into that headlock. Crush him out. So, not a whole lot to get into today on a Monday. Pretty slow weekend comparatively for news, but obviously last night was the superb owl. And as a wrestling fan, you were like, all right, well, how's it going to look here in this Bucks stadium? Because we know two nights of WrestleMania are going to be in that stadium, right? So it's like, okay, how's it? Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't my, that wasn't my fault. I rolled through, he picked it up automatically, and I got myself... Di uh, that is Ronda Rousey. Disqualified. So I missed the fight here with Ronda because of my own button-mashing stupidity. And you got that one, Connor. You got that one. That was not my fault in 36 seconds. Lame. At least my status stays where it stays. I suppose the larger question is, why was that piece of table in the ring to begin with? Baby Bull renewed his deal on Wrestling Rev. Medusa renewed her deal with Super Lucha Libre. Connor caught the Rona. Shouldn't be out partying, Connor. That's what happens. An attack slug fighting Minotaur on the fourth week of January. Dana freaking White. I can't even, like, cut my hair or do a thing, and now I don't have creative, so guess what? Long hair, don't care, and just the bottom, no mustache. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it, Dana. It's weird. But it's too late now. Wait, since when is Dana White a hairstylist? Since when was this his idea to do all this? That's weird. That's weird. Anyhow, look, I'm going to go into the gimmick here, and tr once again, try to change it, but... I feel like it's not going to let me do that. So we'll check on the face. I, yeah, I can't change the beard. It won't let me change the beard. Like, I'm stuck, and I can't change the hair at all. I can change the color, but not the actual... No creative, man. It's a problem. It's really a problem. So, tag team match. Bobby Ball here and his tag team. Let's go. Who's it going to be? Attack Slug and the Sable. The lovely Sable is here, and you can see she had a very similar hairstyle to Ronda Rousey, so of course, that's confusing, but again, video games. But, Sable, I'm not tagging you in. I don't want Brock beating me up. I'm just saying. Uh, I'll handle it. So, Ken Shamrock and Butterbean are here. And I lost to Kenny last time in a cage. That happened. So, who is legal first? Kenny or Butterbean? Man, what is happening? I don't know. But yes, watching the big game to find out what's going to happen with their Canadian Destroyer. With their seating arrangements, because WrestleMania happening in the same stadium, and that's going to be very curious. 
uh, to say the least, right? So they had a bunch of cardboard cutouts. Right? It was like 22,000 actual fans, and the rest were cardboard, and it looked pretty good. Like, it looked like a full arena. It looked pretty nice. Now, whether or not WWE would be also doing that same thing for Mania on both nights remains to be seen, but certainly an avenue you can go down with that beardness. Now, of course, we have not yet announced the on sale for Mania tickets, and so we don't know uh, what they're going to do there. But I feel like, and this is me just having watched a lot of wrestling and a lot of WWE over the years, I feel like Vince is going to want to have more fans in attendance than the Super Bowl. Now, the thing with that, right, is that they had a lot of those fans there were all specifically healthcare workers who were vaccinated, which that being congruent with wrestling fans, I feel like maybe not going to work the way they want it to work. But again, we'll see. It's going to be what it's going to be, and it's going to happen regardless on uh, April the 10th and 11th, I think is the dates for that. So I guess those on sale soon-ish. Soon-ish. RKO to know. No! What? How can Shamrock Stunner reverse my RKO out of nowhere? I do not appreciate, Kenny. I don't. Rope break. Toho. That was some nonsense. And who is on commentary? I think it's Joe Rogan and somebody else. Regardless, we're here to do things. Come on, Kenny. Are you mad I'm now outclassing you in this ring? Since I am now long hair, don't care? Is that right? Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Don't tag out to Butterbean. No! Ha ha ha, you didn't do it. You didn't do it, dummy. The roll up. You refrained from tagging in the bean, and now I'm not gonna let you. I'll keep punching you in the junk. That's just the way it rolls. So, SmackDown, not too much here to discuss, but Edge has not made his decision, right? And continues to tease his decision. But then Kevin Owens attacked Roman Reigns again, and I'm like, but why? He lost a last man standing match. That should be the end of things with KO and the big dog. I'm just saying, that should be the end of things. Uh, but it wasn't, which is like, but why? But why? But hey, you know, wrestling, I think next is, is it, I'm not sure if the next show is The Chamber or if it's Fast Lane. One of those two is next up. And certainly, if you're going to have The Chamber, I would see Owens in The Chamber, Nakamura in The Chamber, Cesaro in The Chamber. Like, the thing and the problem with The Chamber being on the road to Mania every year is the fact that the champion retains the title most times because you've already booked your main event for WrestleMania. So it's like we already know at that point who's going to fight the champion, who won the Rumble is going to fight the, the, the champion, and then they don't have the champion lose their match because obviously marketing, you're booking that thing, etc., etc. So it's kind of a foregone conclusion for the champion to win the chamber, and it makes it very just not as exciting as it should be any other time of the year. So personally, I'd move it to like, you know, May, June, July, you know, somewhere in there. Even like December is a better spot for, for the chamber than after the Rumble and before WrestleMania. I'm just saying. That's just me. So, yeah. We have more of that now. Tonight on Raw, we have McIntyre fighting Randy Orton again. And that's going to be... Oh, my God. Just pick me up and toss me. Non-title, right? So, Orton and McIntyre. You have to imagine Alexa Bliss magic happening in there somewhere again to further that feud. But much like I don't want to see Edge and Randy Orton anymore, I also kind of don't want to see uh, Drew and Randy Orton anymore. I'm just kind of tapped out on that particular matchup. It's happened a bunch. And you would have thought it was over. Now, I would have preferred to see it more had they actually gotten Randy to that 16-time champion status. 
and then you book your Randy Orton, John Cena, 1616, who hits 17 feud, right? But that's not going to happen. That's not going to be the plan as WrestleMania. So at that point, at this point, why even bother doing those two again? I do not know that is the most confusing thing, but it is what it is. And it do what it do. The leg lock, the half crab, tap, Kenny, tap. Nope. He is double tough here. But thankfully, the positioning there got me. No, come back. Don't tag in the butter bean. Please. Haha! -ha. Power power bomb the man! Boom! There we go. I'll take it. Any day of the week. Now, we had some perhaps confusion here a little bit uh, on the status of the health status of one Terra Funk, where Dustin was like, send out prayers for Terry Funk. He's easy easy he's easy. He's not doing great. He's in a lot of pain, right? And everyone's like, oh my god, no, not Terry Funk, please. He's immortal. Forever. Forever. To which he later clarified that, oh, he's in a lot of hip pain. I'm like, hip pain's not gonna, not gonna kill the man. So, yeah, it sucks, to be sure. But uh, I'm not as worried about him being in a lot of hip pain uh, for Terry Funk. So, you know, there's that. But... Beyond that, besides that, not too much else going on in the world of anything, really. Uh, hadn't hadn't seen too much uh, looking at. Whoa, with the chair, relax yourself. Get out of the ring, Butterbean. You don't belong. You aren't legal. That's right, get him out of here with his boxing gloves. Get that man out of here. He don't belong here. Long hair don't care. Long hair don't care. The slugger. Power on again. Middle of the ring. One, two, three. What? What? Bro. Kenny. Kenny, what the hell? That was picture perfect, and it didn't happen. And I am baffled. Brain buster. That one is rough. Kenny, no. Don't. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Get back here. Get back here. I challenge you to, 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 not, to not tag out here in this weird tag team matchup. I don't care. Get back in the ring, Kenny. It's over. It's not over. Sable getting involved here at the last possible minute. Butterbean punching Sable. That's a weird sentence to say out loud, but okay. That's only in this game are you going to see Butterbean punching Sable. Gut wrench. And then it got broken up. Get out of here, Butterbean. You aren't getting involved in this matchup. You're not. There we go. Break your back. No! Not breaking his back. Not making him humble. Not old country way. That's staggering. Absolutely staggering with Kenny Shamrock here. Who should be, by all rights, and done. He should be done. But he ain't done. And neither am I with that terrible... Terrible drop kick that went nowhere for nobody. Get him, Sable. Get him, Sable. Yeah, do it. What? Okay, look. I'll sit here and taunt. That's not a problem. I'll build meter. That's a Butterbean, watch yourself. W referee with the head scissors on Butterbean as a tax log locks in the Kimura lock, but cannot complete the submission as the arm bar on Butterbean. That's really funny. Really funny. STF on Shamrock. Butterbean interferes. Not cool. The Dragon Sleeper on the slug from Butterbean. Not noted for being a submission specialist, but here we are, and here we go. Uncool. Sable, you want to help me out, right? I know all the ladies want to see All the ladies want to be you, and all the men came to see you, but seriously... Miss Sable Bomb, seriously. Uh, what is this? Again, a sickening thud on the slug here who had control of this matchup for a long time. Had control of this matchup. And it's all falling apart now with five minutes remaining. STF and referee, all right, look. C O N Spiracy on that. I can't tap out to the referee. You're the one who has to cut the tap. I don't get it. No. Face Kenny Shamrock and 
grapple Kenny Shamrock, right? I don't want him to snap on me here, seriously. Like, if at all possible, take him out. We're going to do this in a legitimate and legal fashion, right? Gut wrench, pinfall, one, two. What was that? I heard something out there. What happened? DDT into the Kimura. And Butterbean breaks it up. Sable, do some work here. Seriously, I know Brock's your boy. I get it. But I'm here to fight Kenny and beat Kenny. And you should be taking care of that big old Butterbean boy. I don't get it. Get up. Oh my god. Tombstone. How? The tip of his foot under the rope was garbage. Garbage. I will stun you again, Kenny. I will stun you again. Don't think I will not, because I will. There it is. Locked in. Tap Kenny. Here's the Butterbean again to be a pain in my behind. And the face buster on Sable is pretty funny. I don't want to fight Butterbean. I can't tombstone. I can tombstone Butterbean. But now Kenny got the distraction and made things go in a wrong, very wrong direction. Did he call it? What happened? He did, he, he did like the he he did the he did the yes there, but he didn't actually call it. And I couldn't get my gut wrench. I don't I don't get it. Kenny, no! Another sickening power bomb. And I go oh, I got the clutch! The clutch! It's in deep! Hell's Gate! And Butterbean breaks it up. That was... Powerbomb into the Hell's Gate is a pretty cool, like, reversal there. I can dig that. But you can't with Butterbean constantly breaking up my beardness. How? Well, <laughs> nice, Sable! Finally paying dividends here in this matchup. Face Ken Shamrock. Spear! Rope break. Oh, uh, adrenaline, adrenaline, get him up, Sable, get him up, get him up. Stunner. Please don't rope break me. One, two, what a victory for this team of Attack Slug and Sable. I'm getting out of here. That was a stunning conclusion. The ring bell to the back of the head was pretty good. I can't argue there at all. Poor Ken Shamrock. Sable Madge wasn't tagged in. I'm sorry. My profile is up. And it's stuck. Speaking of Terry Funk, at the age of 39, 39, Terry Funk has retired from wrestling. I don't believe you, Terry Funk. You've retired so many times, I don't believe you. Forever. Uranus defeated Sting. So, Perry Saturn, Saturn, defeated Sting, be the new heavyweight champion of Super Lucha Libre. Sea Breeze heading to Maple Leaf Grappling. Major Merc going to Rising Sun. And Weekend Warriors are the top wrestling brand. Hmm, how could that have happened? And I suppose that we have a shoot fight with Ryback in a cage to have tomorrow on the show. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.